Hey guys, Lady Liberty Stacker. It is Saturday, November 21st, 2020, and I got a couple of skillets in that I ordered, and these came in from Stargazer. Stargazer is one of your modern cast iron companies, and I picked these because I liked the, the rim on them. They were easy to pour. They were light, but substantial enough that they were going to retain heat even distribution, they got rave reviews. So I ordered them back on September the 2nd. They came in, I think they shipped it out on the, I'm trying to remember, the first or second week of November. So they came in about eight weeks and they estimated a shipping time of nine weeks. So they actually came in a week early and they were delayed by COVID. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and unbox these. I got some, uh, Brown craft paper, I'll use that for shipping. That's a great uh, filler. And there's two skillets here. Uh, I kind of pre-scored the box so it's easy to open. Uh, let me see here. Go ahead and move that back. This looks like it's the larger of the two. And they only have two offerings right now. They have a 10 point five inch skillet which is comparable to a number eight and they have more craft paper so we'll just go ahead and put the box over here so you guys can see it and we'll go ahead and turn it around this is what the box looks like and it looks like it is no damage whatsoever to the box so we'll go ahead and put it down and it's a 10.5 inch skillet. It's bare. I wanted it bare so I could season it myself. I will actually uh, do a video if you guys want me to season it for you. And one of the selling points on this is the fact that it's made in the USA. So, uh, let me see how they really have. This is pretty solid here. As to, oh, here we go. Okay, we got to cut it along here, so we will do that, there we are, ooh, nice, and I have a little envelope here they gave me, see what we got in here, I'm going to go ahead and open it with a knife, and let's see, I'll just do it like this, see what they sent. I have been so looking forward to this because I like the vintage cast iron, but I wanted something that I could really count on for everyday use. It is a magnet. They sent that, and they also sent a uh, mini use and care guide, how to cook, how to clean, how to season. So that's all very nice. And the skillet comes in the box just like this. <coughs> And they have it wedged in here so it doesn't move around. Oh, that's nice and substantial. Wow. Okay. Let's go ahead and put it up here. That's nice. Let's go ahead and get it out of the wrapping. So let me set the camera down again. We'll go ahead and do that. You can see what I'm doing. Okay. Take the rubber band off. They really package these quite well. I'm very impressed. So this is a number eight. Um, the actual size. I wish they had a number 12. Uh, hopefully they'll come out with one. Ooh, I like it so far. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Ooh, neat. They lightly oiled it. So it won't it won't rust on you. There's and it has a nice handle that promotes uh, that it doesn't he overheat on the handle so you can hold it. Boy, is that substantial, though. That's not super light. It's a little heavier than the, uh, the Griswolds, that's for sure. But it has an assist handle here, which I find very useful. And here is the back. I love the back. Stargazer cast iron. And this looks like Skillet 105028, made in the USA. And this is the size of it, and this looks like it is the serial number of it. That's really cool. Wow. So they've got oil on there. I'm going to try to get that seasoned tomorrow or Monday. At least get one coat on it. 
So we'll go ahead and put that over here. I may go ahead and uh, wrap it back up until I can do it. Now I haven't opened these right away. I got these packages in last week and I've just been so busy with, I had a funeral to go to and another death in the family, extended family, leaf duty, as you saw the last video. I've had an awful lot of stuff on my plate, so I have not even had a chance to even unbox these, and I wanted to do it uh, recording it. So here this is. And this is a 12-inch skillet. It's bare, so I can season it. I want to do my own seasoning, guys. And again, they have another little uh, uh, envelope in here. So I'll go ahead and set that aside. I assume it has the same things in it. Again, they packed it very nicely. Uh, I never did like unboxing videos, but hey, whoops, sorry about that. I'm just not good at them. Just the way it is, is what it is. But uh, they have two plastic bags on these. They want to keep, the, uh, keep it from oxidizing in the air, they don't want it to rust. I'm just gonna keep it just like that because I may put it back in there until I can season it. But again, it's got nice, nice smooth cooking surface. This is the 12 inch, or it's comparable to a 10, a number 10. I wish they had a, a number 12. I would definitely order that. But it's got the curved rim. You can see that all the way around. So to make it easy to pour liquids out of it. That is a nice, nice skillet. Really nice. So let's take a look at the back. And go ahead. Stargazer. Made in the USA. Uh, this must be the serial number of some kind, or maybe that's the serial number down here. But at any rate, it's exactly what I expected. Very solid construction. And I hear these are just wonderful cookers. So I've got two of them here. I can season them up, show you the difference between how I got them and what they look like after a coat of seasoning, and then show you the final product after three coats. Uh, and then they should be good to go. Uh, now I will be back and I will show you before and after results of the last skillets that I picked up. I had a number five a Volrath, unmarked Volrath, a number six Griswold, the hinged 2506, a number 10 slant large logo Griswold, and I had a, a, a cracked lid from a while ago and I just figured I would go ahead and do that. So anyway, this is the, I'll show you the two here. That is a number 8 and a number 10. You can see the size difference. They say that's big enough to grill a couple of steaks in. This is big enough to grill three strip steaks in. But I still would like a number 12. That would be good to make a pizza, etc. But anyways, I will be back showing you the before and after, and then I will show you how I season these skillets and uh, on another video, and we'll go from there. All right, I will be back.